Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory guide and today we're getting into alternate recipes. So if you do enjoy or find my content useful, why not join me over on Twitch or subscribe to the channel for more weekly content. Anyway, alternate recipes can hugely change the way we play the game, adding new recipes that can increase resource productivity or improve factory efficiency. They're unlocked randomly through the research of hard drives which are found in crashed drop pods. When you research a hard drive in the MAM, it will give you the option to unlock one of three recipes or sometimes additional space for your inventory. And without spending serious time breaking down the recipes, it's often very difficult to know how good they really are versus other recipes. So today, I aim to help you. When it comes to recipe unlocks, we do have to bear in mind that as you unlock higher level tiers, more recipe options become available for us. So if you don't research hard drives until the end of the game, you may find yourself sifting through lots of drop pods to get a single recipe, whereas researching them throughout the tiers means that during the lower tiers, you have a higher chance of unlocking useful low tier recipes. Now, another thing to note is that in order to have the turbo fuel recipe unlocked, you do actually need to have compacted coal unlocked first. So if you don't have compacted coal unlocked, you won't find turbo fuel. There are also other alternate recipes that do have requirements as well. I do think I've covered them in the description of why each alternate recipe is good, but do just bear that in mind. Now, what we will do in this is separate items into tiers, and in each tier, I'll select the top recipes to prioritize, in my opinion, for that tier, and also other useful recipes and why. Now, I won't state other recipes as perhaps they're only useful in my personal opinion in certain situations. Also, I just want to state that these are just my opinions, so by all means, if you think I've missed a recipe, or you don't believe that one that I've mentioned is particularly good, then do let me know in the comments. There's no reason why not. Now, our first section is for the low tier recipes, things that you'd unlock early in the game. Our first priority alternative recipes are Casted Screw, which during early game, this allows you to remove iron rods from the process, making a much smaller footprint and decreasing the production time. However, even better is the mid-tier steel screw recipe, which we'll get onto later. We also have Stitched Iron Plate. Now, this was much more OP in update two, but nonetheless, it is still one of the best early game recipes. Combine it with iron wire, for an easy reinforced iron plate build. Now with it being the early game, early tiers, there aren't that many useful alternate recipes other than the two that I prioritized, but other ones that I would take a preference to is iron wire. So if you're short on copper in a particular area, this is actually a great early game substitute as iron is so readily available compared to other resources. There's also fused wire, uh, which offers better production and actually produces quicker and uses less power. And because of that, generally speaking, it's very good. However, early game, you probably won't need this unlocking, which is why I've actually placed it as just a useful option to have. Next up, we're going to move on to the middle tier, which tends to be steel items and some slightly more complex items. Now, I'd prioritize these two particular items. So the first recipe is compacted coal. As we mentioned before, this is actually one of the requirements for turbo fuel. And I'd go as far as to say it's not, a, not an alternate recipe, but a new recipe altogether. So if you do see it, definitely pick it up. Now our next priority, which I also mentioned before, is steel screws. Now screws are pretty much the bane of my life in this game. And the steel screw alternate turning beams to screws is not only much more efficient, but also great for smaller factories. You'll actually see me using this alternate recipe a lot in our five by five challenge. And now we're going to be moving on to the useful section, which has four recipes that I'd certainly keep in mind. The first one is solid steel ingots. 
With an added step making you produce iron ingots first, you'll actually gain a rather large boost of 50% efficiency, which is really useful, especially when matched with the pure iron ingots recipe, which we'll mention at the end. Our next alternate recipe is steeled frame, an all round useful recipe and it cuts out screws so if you do match it with stitched iron plates and solid steel ingots you really are onto a winner with this one. Third we have encased industrial pipes now this reduces the amount of space required to build encased industrial beams it's useful to have and doesn't require any extra work definitely worth checking out. And finally, we have steel rods. Yes, it does require steel ingots to produce, but essentially it doubles up the production per minute, which really isn't bad at all. Moving along to the higher tier recipes that require manufacturers or refineries, we have quite a large selection of great recipes to choose from. So turbo heavy fuel goes without saying this is great, but only if you have the heavy oil residue alternate recipe first, otherwise the productivity isn't great. Also, as I mentioned before, you will need compacted coal unlocked first. And this brings us on to the next one, turbo fuel as well, except you'll want to combine this one with diluted packaged fuel to optimize the build. Our third priority unlock for the higher tier recipes is diluted packaged fuel. Okay, I get that you add a fair amount to the factory manufacturing process with having to package fuel, but overall it greatly increases the amount of fuel you produce. And if you use the heavy oil alternate recipe, then you can actually double that further. We then have heavy oil residue, which I've mentioned previously, this is great for getting the most bang for your buck out of crude oil nodes. Moving on, we have recycled plastic and recycled rubber, both of which are great alternate recipes, allowing you to turn one fuel into one plastic or rubber. Couple this with diluted fuel and you really are onto a winner. And this is one of the ways that you can really optimize getting a lot out of crude oil. We then have a heavy encased frames. Now swap screws for concrete and what do you get? A solid alternate recipe for heavy modular frames, just requiring a few extra resources, but it really is worth it. We then have Caterium computers. Now this uses less crude oil than the vanilla per item, which is a great alternate and once again cuts out those pesky screws. Note, you will though have to have unlocked Caterium ingots for this particular alternate recipe. Moving on, we have the Turbo Rigger motor. I hope I'm saying that correct. But with this alternate recipe, you can produce an extra turbo motor per minute and is produced with comparatively fewer resources and subsequently consumes less power. However, you will need to have researched the Caterium tree once again for this as well. We then have the heat exchanger, which uses copper instead of oil and is pretty much advantageous in every situation with oil being so sparse. Definitely a must have. Moving on to the useful alternate recipes for the higher tier, we have the silicon circuit board. This trades plastic for silica and boosts production by five circuit boards per minute, which is great, especially all other recipes use plastic, which obviously makes use of those sporadic crude oil nodes, which we need to use for other things. But do note that you will need to research quartz for this particular alternate recipe. Moving on, we have infused uranium cells. Now this was kind of hit and miss for me, but the upside is you increase the production to an extra 7.5 uranium cells per minute. However, the downside is it does use silica, quickwire and sulfur in place of just concrete. And you'll also have to use these obviously in a manufacturer. We also have steamed copper, which just add water and an extra copper ingot and you actually gain a whole 12.5 copper sheets extra per minute. Now that's 
a pretty good trade-off if you ask me. And then we have polyester fabric. Now straight off the bat, I rarely use fabric, but the fact is that this allows you to automate something from scratch. And prior to that, you'd have to go out and collect the items by hand in order to produce it. So it really is super useful if you do spend a lot of time exploring using the parachute or using gas mask filters. So definitely consider this one if that's for you. Now actually on top of all of these, we also have the pure recipes, which I haven't really touched on. Um, so things like pure iron ingots, pure copper ingots, etc. All of these add production through combining the ores with water, but they're great recipes, generally speaking, for the late game. If you're wanting to get the most out of all your nodes, then definitely go for this. However, if you're not looking to maximize everything, then these pure recipes aren't really necessary as you should have ample or available around you. So there you are guys, a relatively quick video with a list of my favorite alternate recipes and a bit of reasoning behind why. Of course, there are exceptions to these and if you have some that you think I've really missed out on or perhaps shouldn't have included in this list, then do let me know in the comment section below. I'm very much eager to hear your thoughts. And if you did find this video helpful, then please do drop a thumbs up. And if you want to see more and haven't already, then why not follow me over on Twitch or subscribe to my weekly satisfactory content on here. Anyway, guys, we are going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, until next time, ciao for now.